A null object is an empty layer with a set of controls that you can use to move layers, other layers around. So here we have two separate layers, a layer and another layer, and they are both being controlled by the null object. So I can open up my uh, transform properties on a null object and I can move them around, I can rotate them, I can scale them up, and so on. Opacity is different, so I'll come back to that in a moment, but straight away you can just use these things to group things together and move them around as a single object. So what I'll do is I will delete the null object and start from scratch, and I'm just going to reset the rotation on these two layers here. Okay, so I have two layers, and each one has its own transform properties, which we know. We've got our rotation open here, but we can open up our position, scale, and so on. Okay. Um, now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a null object. So I'll close the position property there. And create, sorry, right click down here, new and null object. So this is a menu that you're going to be coming back to very often, and you can access it anywhere that there isn't a layer or an object. So you can click up here as well. And you can get that stuff okay so right click new null object and it gives us our empty layer with its controls to control these other layers so currently it's not controlling anything and um, you go to the layer that you want to be controlled by the null object you find the column parent and link not to be confused with track mat okay this is a different uh, very similar looking but different column and we have our pick whips which allow us to pick whip from the layer being controlled to the null object doing the controlling. And I can do it with one layer, and then I can add more layers, and they will all be controlled. So straight off the shelf, you just need to link or parent to the null object, and you can pick it up, move it around, and throw groups of layers around the composition um, in a very simple kind of a way. Now, there are more uh, targeted ways that you will use null objects. Um, such as when you are using an effect. So I'm going to just hide these for the moment and lock them. I'm going to show another layer here, which is a particle system. Okay. Now particle systems don't move around in the way that you know you would imagine. If you move this around like this, it will just move the entire layer. Okay, it's hard to see there, but if I switch on my transparency, uh, well, it is kind of hard to see there. Anyway, point I'm trying to make here is that particles have what are called producers, and it is the producer that needs to move around so that you can, you know, start your particle system in a particular place. I'm just going to see that's the effect of just moving the layer, and you never want to see that, so I'm going to reset the position and instead go back to moving my producer around. Okay, so producer just starts the particle system. Okay, and if you want to move or have your producer being animated, you can also parent that to a null object, but you can't just pick whip from the layer itself. You have to actually go into the effect. So you hit E to bring up the effects. You open the effect. You find the thing that you want to move around and you target that thing. So the position property here has its own pick whip, as do all of the properties, and I can now parent that specifically to the null object, the null object's own position property. So I want to link up position to position specifically here and not just parent or yeah parent one layer to another layer. Okay, so I go from position to position. Okay, and now if I decide to do um, keyframe animation, um, let's say we start over here and keyframe that, and we'll go out, you know, two seconds down the timeline, and we we'll move the null object. We don't have to go near the the um, effect because we've parented it, and now we will see our particle system kind of chasing you can go faster as well just to see the effect a little bit better you can see it kind of like a trail 
and then we can have a loop back. And you'll see that the null object, its position property, is bringing that producer across the screen and back again. Okay. Now, uh, note also when you parent something um, using the pick whip and a null object, you'll see that the position itself turns red. That means that you can't just go in and edit this property anymore because it's being controlled from elsewhere. And if you dig a little bit deeper, you'll say that it is in fact an expression or a piece of code that has been applied to that property to automate the movement of that property based on something else. Okay, and we're not going to get into the actual syntax here, but just know that when it's red, it has code and you can't just click and move those or change those properties. Okay, so that's why you would target our parent uh, a specific property between a layer and a specific property on a null object. Now, 